And we're back with some more RimWorld. And right now we're going through a whole bunch of baby births uh, because I wasn't paying attention. Right. Uh, one of them has been born sick. Uh, one, two of them have been born healthy so far. And we're going to have two more in another minute or so. Um, healthy vat baby. Okay. Uh, you, someone needs to get around to tending them immediately. Damon, you're our best medic. Where are you? Nope. No, no. Stop making drugs. Uh, prioritize tending to the newborn. They are currently incredibly sick. They're at 41% and they need tending now. Yeah, we're going to give them the best medicine possible. Is that another... Stop dropping babies on the floor, everyone. Uh, what's the next one? Uh, uh, so there'll be another one along in a minute. Okay, perfect. So, plenty of babies. Um, yep. Is everyone super happy now? Um, I'm presuming my rival Giggles died. Oh. Right, and baby crying. It's fine. It's fine. We'll get everyone put into beds. Uh, I was making cribs, but I don't think you actually need them. Okay. And uh, we're going to just tend them up, feed them, and then we're going to cram them back into the vats. I think we should have enough baby food around, do we? Yeah, we got 94 baby food. You know, people like to say RimWorld is a monstrous game, but like, they, there's just everyone around the tab table feeding the babies. Uh... Next it. All right, once they're fed, though, we're going to take all the ones that are not sick and we're going to put them in growth vats just to speed this along. There's no point feeding them. From what I can tell, keeping them out of the vats is kind of pointless. You're better off just chucking them in, uh, except for the sick babies, of course. Uh, Pepper City, are you doing the sick baby? I think you are. Yeah. yeah, so we'll cram all but the sick baby right back in. Before we chuck all the babies into the tanks, I would like to introduce you to Jamus, son of Chewy. Well, child of Chewy. This is how we've done them all. All of their last names are going to be done from the, the family prime. So this entire line will be the Chewy line, and that's Jamus. Then we've got EP Geek of uh, the family Lunk. They've even got their they've got their daddy's facial colouring, and actually face as well, from what I can see. Poor little kid. Then we've got Alex here of the line, Alex Perovich of the line Smokey. And we've got Tiberius of the Damon line. And finally, we've got CM Dark of the Stoker line. Unfortunately, they're sick at the moment, but they got 130% 10 quality. If that doesn't fix it, I don't know what will. We'll give them the second 10 later on, and it should get them sorted. Also, this teenager, they're like 13 when we capture them, and they've aged up to the age of 16, so we can finally grab an egg out of them. That should give us a few more eggs and get us closer for... Well, we're going to be putting in five more kids once these one are gestated. So we need to source those as quickly as we possibly can, or just at least have them on hand. The moment we grab that egg out of them, we chuck them into the Gene Ripper. I've realized there's actually a couple of genes we'd like out of those Westers, so... We'll see if we can't get Wake Up Addict Immune. Uh, well, we've got it already, but it's combined with another gene. I'd like to get it just on its lonesome because right now it's tied up with... Oh, aggressive, which you don't want. That just means the kids born out of that will be problematic, to say the least. So, we'll rip it out of them. If that doesn't get it, we can just rip it again. They, they'll die, but we'll just increase our chances of getting the gene. And we have another one over here that we can get a, an egg out of and do a gene ripping on pretty quick as well. Oh, and how's Chewie doing? 18 days left. Wow. Chewie went into, when Chewie went into that tank, everything was going fine. Now we've got a, a dead a dead colonist who got burned up, actually. They, uh, the flames took them, unfortunately, so we weren't able to rescue them. And does someone want to grab that signal chip and bring it back inside, if you wouldn't mind? That would be really handy. Uh, also, we'll probably have to bring in those corpses and scrap them up. But for now, we were just too focused on... Guys! There's like 2,000 psychoid leaves out here. Someone want to maybe uh, get around to bring in those inside? Oh my god. We're going through a, a little bit of a problem right now, and everyone's not very happy. Psychic drone high female. Uh, so, yeah, we're just we're dishing out all the drugs to keep people going. Uh, at the same time, our worst person right now is Stalker. Namely because their daughter died when, uh, yeah, when Muppet died, that's a minus 20. Plus the high psychic drone is a minus 30. They're looking to be holding together, so we've been dosing them up with Flake. The reason we can do that is uh, they actually have a psychic dependency, meaning they can't get addicted to it. So, Flake, Yayo, yeah, whatever it takes, we can get them through this. Also, it's time for Smokey's death rest, and we've maybe amped up their uh, their death resting just a scooch. Now, they can tag on to six buildings, and we've given them six. Two of them are death rest accelerators, and the other ones are ones that increase their psi powers. So, if we grab Smokey here and have a check before they go in, they have a neural heat of 96. That's the max neural heat they can support. Let's see how much neural heat they have when they come out of this. It should take them, yeah, 2.5 days. All right, so there's all six of those things have now bound to them and that cask. And uh, they have 2.5 days left, and when they're ready, they'll auto-wake up. Um, 
I was worried that they'd auto wake up when this expired. Actually, they auto wake up when their death rest meter is full. So yeah, you can leave that auto uh, auto wake up ticked all the time if you want. You should be fine with it. Oh, we're gonna grab a quick ovum out of ash there. Uh, I am going to need to remember their name and what species they were. Otherwise, this gets really confusing. Here was me thinking Randy was going to give us a break, but uh, it seems Randy's decided he's not giving us a break. He's going to give us some uh, some piglins or whatever you call them. Actually, what's the name of these things again? I keep reading pigskins. So we got a bunch of pigskins showing up. They are breachers. They have two stacks of grenades, several stacks of molotovs, and um, mostly short range weaponry, which would fit. They're all, they all have terrible eyesight. So they want to have shotguns or any like auto shotguns, heavy SMGs, that kind of close range stuff. We don't want any of their genetics. All of their genetics are terrible. Uh, killing them? Yeah, I think killing them is good. And since their range is so short, I say we get everyone out there. Oh, and since they've got fire as well, I'm thinking mechanoids to soak and our people to riddle them full of bullets. Yeah, let me get a team together. Oh, damn it. I forgot to get, get Pepper Seal to pick back up their sword. It's over here somewhere, isn't it? Ah, yes. Exit. Uh, let's start getting everyone outside before they decide to blow up in the walls. Oh, and Smokey is still down for the count. They waited until they were down for 0.6 of a day before they arrived. That was probably how long it took for the news to get to them. This is a disturbingly close raid. It just spawned right beside us, so I'm not sure how quickly we can take these guys out. I don't want uh, those grenades hitting our walls, if at all possible. Oh, they are already winding up grenades. That is bad. There we go. Oh. Yep. Well, they've already cracked the walls. Uh, that's not good. Uh, we may have to wake up Smokey early. I would rather not do that. Um, right. <laughs> Problem was Stalker was all the way the opposite side of the base, so the mechanoids are a little bit slow. We might have to use the mechanoids to hold this area. Uh, yeah, quick, 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 quick. Quick, 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 quick. Chewie's in there. Okay, that's that's the grenades down. Is that all the grenades? That's all the grenades. Okay, fall back a bit is fine. Yeah, get away from the Molotovs is is probably a better idea. Oh god. Uh perhaps they'll actually go in here and close that door if you wouldn't mind. That would make me feel a little bit more comfortable. Uh everyone else, I would like you to fall back a bit. Actually, let's have you fall back into the actually you know they've got close combat people. I'm not sure how much of one I want to tangle with that many Molotovs at close range. Like, that is a lot of Molotovs. Like, that's six Molotov carriers. I'm not sure we can down all six of those before they get in close enough to cause problems. And Lunk is pretty flammable. Hmm. Yeah, pull back this direction. We want to draw them in if at all possible. Uh, you two come down here. Divide and conquer, divide and conquer. A stalker should be along shortly as well. Okay, excellent. Now, Stoker, where are you? For the love of God, get up here. Oh, there you are. Perfect. All of you, draft up, come this direction immediately. Stoker, you're going to be helping out. We want to make sure that our bots get up there to help out. when the. Oh, yeah. They are hurting the piggies. Ho, 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 ho. Another one bites the dust. More piggies are down. I can undraft the that one. Perfect, perfect. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, that guy over there. Those those ones need to get gotten. Nope, pull back. Find my me. Yeah, excellent. Huh. They seem to be shooting the walls. Uh, I don't think we can afford that. So, charge, I'm afraid. I can't have you messing with Chewie's little containment facility. So, you attack them, you attack them, you attack them, you attack them, you attack that guy, you attack that guy. Uh, the rest of our people will be along shortly to help out. Uh, dead, dead, wow. They go down pretty easy. They're, they're fairly squishy. Nice. Now. Okay, the Scythers are doing work over there. Uh, you attack that one. You attack there, and you guys go out and start helping out. Okay, that distracted them fairly well. Uh, if we could actually kill that guy, 
Actually, you know what? No, we'll let Lunk take care of that guy. Lunk, all yours. The rest of you, all the way over here. Start lining up and start shooting. What the? Fire? Stalker's lost control of Scyther, uh, Mech Scyther 1. Okay, that's fine. Lunk is taking care of that guy on that side. Everyone else is kicking butt over here. Ooh. Okay. So. Plan. Uh, yeah, they have shield pops, which are kind of annoying. Or shield belts. Shoot that guy right there. Nope, never mind. He's already dead. Fine. Uh, shoot that guy right there. Done. Yeah, we're just going to slowly grind our way through these. I think our shield belts are not as good as we would like. Oh, Stalker, I'm going to need you to run, buddy. We can't have you going down. Ah. <sighs> Excellent. Well, these guys are rather messy to deal with. I dislike that they set fires everywhere and they come with lots of explosive stuff. But on the bright side, we get to shoot a bunch of them. Is that guy... Oh, that guy's trying to get out that door because the place is surrounded in fire. Uh, open that door for him, would you? Yeah, then you can get out of the way. Yeah. Make those little squealers die. Right then. Uh, we didn't have to wake up Smokey. Smokey got to sleep through that entirely. Uh, sorry if you heard some, some awkward noises. Chewy, sh you got to sleep through that as well. It's going to be 23 days now. Your, your bio-tuning's actually gone backwards because we got to clean out this room. But we'll have this place repaired in no time. Uh, once we drag out all the corpses and put out all the fires. Easy peasy. Easy peasy when you've got enough people. There is a whole bunch of things we need to be doing right now. Uh, first up, I'm knocking off all of the parents of the current kids before they hit three. For example, this one here. Yeah, we just killed her mother there. Well, genetic donor. Because, well, the moment the kid turns three, they'll actually care. Right now, if their parents die, it leaves no lasting impression on them at all. But if they turn three and the parent died, that's an issue. So we either sell them after that, in which case they become a slave of someone else, and they could end up coming back and attacking us later, and we have to kill them. Or, you know, there should could be some incidents in the future where we have to actually murder them. I'd prefer to do it now so that we don't have to deal with the consequences of that action. Uh, at the same time, I think Dems as well needs to go in there. Yeah, what I'm doing is I'm just gene stripping them. There's actually a few genes we're still trying to... I'd like to get Fast Runner, uh, but Dems is also a parent. I think they're of... this kid, is it? Yeah, Dems is a parent of that one, so I think we put Dems in the Gene Ripper. Uh, that will get rid of them, and hopefully we get another chance at getting that uh, Fast Genetic. All right, uh, at the same time, there's a few other things that need doing. Uh, who was it? Yeah, it was... Papper Silly. No eyes. Yeah, they got both their eyes scratched out by an arctic wolf on their first encounter, which brought them down to 22% sight. They're effectively blind. So I'm thinking they're going to need to get a couple of operations. Uh, we've stockpiled a couple of bionic eyes, but as well as that, I have a skill trainer me melee around here somewhere. Their melee skill is only three, which is a little bit weak sauce. So what we'll get them to do is grab that melee skill trainer, and that brings them up to 10, which means they should actually be decent in a fight now. Then, let's check on a couple of eyes. We manufactured them ourselves. What the? Since when do you have the option to remove an eye? What? Um, why would you do that? Oh, wait, yeah, it's part of the ideology thing. Uh, if you have that blindsight thing going on. Uh, you can go rest until healed. Someone will be along shortly. Actually, it's a good bed, excellent bed. Go, go with the, uh, the excellent bed up there. And uh, we'll have Damon along or someone to give you uh, two new eyeballs. Two fresh eyeballs installed on Pappersill. That'll bring their sight up to 125%. Combine that with them being nimble and a brawler and having 10 melee. They might actually do some reasonable damage right about now. All right. Now, who was the next person up we wanted to tend to? Oh, yeah, that would be Smokey over here. Smokey's out of the uh, the containment, or sorry, out of their death rest cask. Instead of having 96 neural heat, they now have 176. Um, Yeah, that's about... 80 points or so? Uh, that's that's a lot. Uh, I'd probably have to go back and double check things, but yeah, they've got Psychofluid Rush. Uh, meditation side focus gain plus 20%, Neural Heat Recovery plus 0 0.2, and Psychic sen Sensitivity plus 100%, meaning they can do some serious amounts of side casting. From now on, they are never leaving the colony. I realize that... Medical emergency for Kyle. Oh. Yeah, he's one of those uh, hussars. We need to give him a quick dose of go juice. Yeah, I give them go juice once every 30 days. We could do once every 60, but I'd forget and they'd die. Anyway, 
they have a whole bunch of really good skills that we don't want to waste, so no more trading for them. They're going to stay at home in the colony and defend. Their invisibility could have saved us, their skip could have saved us, there's all sorts of traits and abilities they have that would have been very powerful, and Muppet might still be alive if I hadn't have messed that up. Anyway, uh, recriminations aside, that means we need a new trader, and I'm thinking their kid Cowger can do it. Cowger's social is only 11, but there's a few things we can do for them. Uh, once Papersil's out of bed, we're going to queue up an operation for them. Uh, on our last trip, we did manage to pick up... No, it wasn't a learning assistant. Where did I put it? Okay, so I messed up. Uh, turns out there was a psychic reader at the last place and I forgot to buy it. Uh, there was a whole so much of confusion. Someone had died. Uh, I'm going to have to send them out in a trade mission to get it. However, they don't have vampire powers. So if we're sending them out on their own to do trading, they need some way of defending themselves. They'll get two more psi levels when we promote them, which I think we can actually get around to doing now. The quest should be completed for that. Uh, Cowgirl's Praetor Ceremony. We'll accept. Uh, we've even built them up all of their stuff, their bedrooms should be sufficient. All that should be required is for them to get their two Psylink levels. And, oh, if we could get another and get them skipped, that would be amazing. But, worst case scenario, while we're out and about, we did pick up jump packs. So if we can get that, we can make them a jump pack, and the jump pack should allow them to get out of... If they get ambushed, it'll give them a lot of flexibility and make them far less likely to die. We shall begin the bestowing ceremony. This should get Cowgirl up to the point of having access to the shuttle as well, so they can fly back from long-distance targets or we can fly them out to long distance targets. And once we get them up to level six Psy Focus, uh, which might take a while, currently they haven't p fixed the tribe child has Psy Focus, but we should be able to get them the last two levels. We're not gonna level them to the Empire, but we should be able to get them the last two levels of Psy Focus to get them up to level six using the tree. And if we do that, then they can still get access to Fire Skip, which we have a trainer lying around here somewhere. At which point they build a Fire Skip back, they'll have access to the shuttle and they'll make a really good trader. Assuming I can pick them up that learning, uh, that trade enhancer as well. A terrible bestowing ceremony. Well, that's 6.3% chance. Thanks, Randy. I thought after our most recent death, you'd get a little bit nicer, but thanks for surprising me and just, you know, being you. All right, uh, what skills did you get? You got word of love and focus. Hmm. Well, could have been better, could have been worse. Another thing we need to get done is we need to improve Stalker's mech count. Currently, their bandit max is at, at 22. We have a uh, another scyther on the way. Well, six scythers. So we are going to summon in uh, Annoying Guy. What's his name? Uh, oh, the Acrapaton guy? Whatever. No, no, not the War Queen. I don't want the War Queen. That's the wrong one. Where's the one that... Uh, ah, the uh, Apocritan? Whatever. This guy. We need to confirm that. We want the chip that's inside his head. Or body. Or whatever part of his body the chip is located in. I'm just assuming it's the head, but maybe that's like a ro robot thing. Uh... A Okay, Kraviton guy's been summoned. We'll scrap up that steel. You actually get a little bit of steel back out of it, which is nice, but considering it costs you two advanced components, meh. Oh, and we're going to need to do this three times. Reason being, well... Oh, wow. There's an awful lot of toxic waste going around. We're doing this three times because we want the armor and the helmet out of it. The armor, because it gives extra points to... Uh, their control ability so they can have even more mechs and the helmet because it also gives them even more points to their control ability which means we can have even more mechs uh we, we sort of want lots of mechs oh and you uh, i should stick you into a slightly different group yeah we should put you in group two on recharge i've got everyone recharging because well, it turns out dying a bunch is really bad for their health it's unfortunate but uh yeah it, it really reduces their charge rate, so I had to stick in a second charging station as well, just to make sure we had enough charging ports for all of them. Well, Stalker's in a bit of a mad mood at the moment. We still have not been able to get rid of their daughter died. Uh, that expires in 20 days. I'd be able to get rid of it quicker if Chewbacca was up and around. They could maybe cancel them, but uh, unfortunately Chewbacca's still suffering from some, you know, brain damage. How's their head looking? Yeah, 20% of their brain left. I really hope it fixes their brain first and their torso second, but... You know, Randy... Alright, let's see, what do we got over here in the... Yeah, here it is. The Apocritan, whatever. Uh, I'm going to call it the Acrapathon. Okay, Acrapathon. Uh, you're an annoyance problem as well, because it gives off a mood negative to anyone nearby. we got six Miltors, five Scythers, and Smokey. Where are you, buddy? You're beating out a fire? Oh, wow. Fire actually started here, I presume, lightning. And uh, no, you have an Insanity Lance. We have been waiting for this, so we're going to use your Insanity Lance to kill the Acrapathon. Uh, While well, we still can. We're going to do this just to level up, uh, Stalker. Two of those should allow... What is that? Friendlies. They're moving in to help. Oh, wow. Please don't mess this up. Well, they've fallen haywire all over the place. Uh, that's going to cause wonderful issues. Where are you going? 
You're hauling steel to wooden shelf. That's actually fine. You'll be far enough away. It won't make a difference. Uh, Sam? Sam, I think you're close enough, Sam. Come on. Wow. Well, you, you can give it to the uh, the Lanwillers or whatever the hell you call them. They are just not really good, tactically speaking. Oh, this is like watching one of those terrible paratrooper drops in World War II and then like people just landing in the wrong places with no weapons, no, not able to do anything. Ugh. And on the bright side, we can use some of them as cover, prefer hopefully. And I'm thinking Insanity Lance right there. Perfect. Now it won't revive any of the bots. See, what it does is it its main special ability is it revives the bots around it. I think about, yeah, 30 resurrection charges. So it can just keep reviving bots again and again and again. Uh, I don't even think we need to leave Smokey here for this, do we? Oh, we might as well. They can have a little bit of fun shooting stuff. You're fleeing the fire. What? What fire? The fire over there? That's that's the only fire nearby. Oh my god. That is um pretty weak sauce. Wow, they slaughtered this entire raid. How are you doing? You are... Actually, this thing's got a sort of a poison gun, so I'm curious to see if this guy got poisoned. No. Uh, in fact... Oh, they just got bruised from toxic needle gun. Okay then, that uh, went well. It seems that when this thing dies, it gives off a giant EMP wave as well, which is good for disabling enemy mechs. So, ooh, uh, prioritize holding that nano chip. Let's see if any of our friendlies are left alive. We can rescue them and get even. Oh, that one's got a low shield pack. This was really useful. I'm almost tempted to call you guys in more often just so that we can strip the corpses. Jump pack research complete. That is excellent. I was thinking though, I might want to go back and uh, grab some noble apparel just because it would keep Kauger happy now that they're a noble. Uh, once that's done, I think we'll be going. Uh, back to armor again. I really, really have to get them some helmets. All right, but for now, I think it's time we made a quick jump jet pack for Kauger and sent them on their way in a trade mission. We're a little bit overstocked right now. I think we have a little bit too much drugs on hand. Like about 1,067 too much drugs on hand. A combat supplier was going by and I have decided to splurge. I was going to wait and build my own armor, but they've got some prestige cataphract armor good, which we can give to Kauger for their journey. And they've also got a samurai helmet normal, which appears to also have size sensitivity, so that should count for their clothing requirements. So, yes, let's grab both of those and get them stuck on Kauger before someone else nicks them. Kauger is now one very macho looking piggy. Look at that. Um, actually, give me, give me a little bit of a pose there, buddy. Oh, wow. Right, so they've got the samurai armor, the pig ears coming out of it, and the whole body armor gear thing going on. That's good. That's good. I like it. Um... And also that covers all of the clothing requirements so they're not unhappy. I'm just curious how we're going to keep them happy on the road. That's sort of my only concern, but I suppose we'll find out. No, and yeah, get back to work. Sorry. Oh, kids are aging up. Uh, Tiberius just became a... What's with the hair? What the hell? Okay, you're three, so... Cancel Vathgroat. You are three. Cancel Vathgroat. Uh, who else? EP Geek? Is that you? James is now three as well, so cancel that growth. How are you looking? You are two days 59. Uh, rebar okay, apparel is finished. That means... Oh, actually, no. I don't want to recon armor. I want to get ultra mech tech. That was it. Nano structuring chip not studied. Okay, fine. We can go grab that. It's out in the field, but yeah, that's going to be our very next tech. A little bit of studying of the chip we ripped out of that robot's head, and... Oof. We can now do that research. 10,000 points, so that will take a while, but that gives us the Mech Lord suit, which I really want to try out. That thing gives, where is it? Plus 12 mech bandwidth, and we don't have any body armor that's giving us anything at the moment, so that should be huge. This will update our helmet to plus 12. I think our current helmet is plus 9, so that would be less of a gain. Yeah, oh, current helmet is plus 6, so we'll add an extra plus 6 there. That's going to be some huge bonuses, and we're going to have an army of scythers once we can get there. I'm really thinking about just scaling up our damage right now because we desperately need it. Since we are raising so many kids so quickly at the same time, what I've decided to do just at the start, while we're getting them all up to speed, is I've cranked down their, their aging. So right now they're aging incredibly slowly, the same as normal adults, as in each day is a day for them, as opposed to six days, which is their normal dog aging years thing. Now the reason I've done that is so we can get their learning up. 
We want to crank their learning up to about 90 to 100 percent and once their learning is maxed out then we can just put them back to normal speed. It's just at the start they're at 50 percent learning and in the time it takes them to get up to max learning we've lost a whole bunch of potential learning so let's just uh, slow it down a little bit at the start. Our first trade with Kegger is actually pretty good. We went back to one of our local towns and we managed to pick up a psychic reader. Now these things are a bit odd. I'm doing some testing on the side because I was looking out for a psychic reader for ages. I had them listed here in, our, in my wishlist mod just to see if I could find them and they weren't showing up. And it turns out until you become allied with the Empire, the chances of finding a psychic reader are really slim. And then once you ally with the Empire, a psychic readers pretty much show up everywhere. I, I don't know what it is. It just that seems to be for my testing. I don't know if there's anything in the code to back that up, but that's the way it's felt like to me. Now that we've got one of those, we're actually going to bring Cowgirl back and immediately implant that in their head. Psychic readers allow you to get trade bonuses, so yes, let's make Cowgirl just that little bit better at trading. Well, we wouldn't implant that chip in their head if we had a chance to, because unfortunately some mechs have shown up. We've got a, a raid from the mech hype, like just mechs all day long. It's mechs for days these days. Alright, so we got six centipedes with blasters here, uh, a centurion, a pikeman... Oh, yeah, nasty. Other side over here, we've got a War Queen. A um, whole bunch of centipedes with blasters. Uh, and Is that two centurions? Yeah, two centurions. Right, this is going to be fun. Uh, and by fun, I mean... God damn it. <laughs> oh, I should stock up my fridge now that I think about it. Uh, yeah, no, I'll do that in a minute. We have all hands on deck. The kids are currently here, so I suppose we'll have to let them entertain themselves. Uh, we'll confine them to inside along with the mechs and then we're going to have to go out there and I figure we take out this bunch first. Um, yeah, I'm going to need a plan. Well, after a bit of a flim flamming around, they've decided to settle down here and the other group has decided to settle over here, which means we're going to have to come at them from this direction. Uh, well, we've got all our casters on hand, so this should be... Oop. Who's got range on us already? I presume it's that Centurion. Is it? Yeah, that Centurion has a gun, but not a very good one. Hmm. What? Let's leave up your ranges so we can see when you're getting there. Come on. A little bit closer. Actually, you two can go there. Now, they don't have fire, which is good. There's no fire weapons available in this team. In their team. Nice. Keep pulling back. Let's go. Okay, now, Smokey, you've got Skip going on. Oof, not quite in range yet. Uh, let's pull him back a little bit further, shall we? Hmm, Smokey, excellent. Give me a Skip. Have your Skip ready. Right there. And that means they're surrounded by six scythers, one lunk, and a papper silly. Oof, now, we should probably get someone who's got a low shield. Did, damn it, did I bring anyone with a low shield is the question. No, no I didn't. Damon, oh please tell me, yes, you do have a low shield. Means I need you to go here as quickly as possible. Now we can buy ourselves a little bit of time in an insanity lance. Say, grab that one right there. Okay, Smokey, you're still good. And... Oof, another one gets teleported in. This is working out quite nicely. Like a little teleport mosh pit. It's been a while since I used one of those. Okay... And neural heat wise, Smokey is just absolutely baller. Look at that. 176 neural heat, so they can do the skipping for a long, long time. Uh Okay, they're beginning their assault. Well, that's not gonna go very well for you guys, because you're coming up against this area. Um Damn it, okay, we have to move everyone forward. I'm gonna have to rearrange everyone again. Okay, after just a few little bits of clicking, and poof. Everyone runs forward perfectly. Ah, uh, nice. Now, uh, what's left? Uh, a broken shield. Perfect. Now, come on forward. Where are you going? Where are you going, buddy? Too large. Oh, you can't teleport centurions. The bosses can't be teleported now. Oh. Animals inside. Animals inside. Damn it. Um... 
that animal has already, like Cougar 1 has already had more than its fair share of pain. Damn it, we're going to have to get closer again. Uh, one moment, everybody charge. Okay, and right. Yeah, Lunk, get out of there for a second. Smokey, gonna need you to get a skip on. Damn it, we can't see that one. Right, there we go. Perfect. Ooh, beautiful. Can't see that one from that direction. Damn it. Uh, Smokey, you're gonna have to run this direction. Uh, Perfect. Teleport. And right there. That was a brutal slaughter. Um, hmm. Where do you think you're going, Centurion? Oh, hells no. You're not getting away from this mess that you created. We're gonna run you down and kill you good. How is there? Ooh, Cougar's not doing so good. Can vampire stuff work on those? Oh, and they destroyed the door. Okay, I probably should have... Lunk, you can you can totally kill them, but everyone else maybe pull back a little bit? Exotic goods trader. Well, now's not really a good time. Uh, and they are the... The Acrapathon has arrived. Right, where is it going to land? Right there. Fine. I'll get Cowgirl over with an Insanity Lance, and that should solve that problem. Actually, does... Or Smokey. Does Smokey have one left on them? Uh, Gear-wise, you do not have an Insanity Lance. Fine, we'll get you an Insanity Lance and then you're over there. Okay, and the Mechanoids from the... Okay, so these Mechanoids are now beginning their attack. Yep, yep, yep. Just all in a... All in a Randy's day of work. Really quick now, we're gonna get Lunk to apply Coagulate. Perfect. Uh, then... Actually, get them to rescue that one. Rescue that cougar, if you wouldn't mind. Then everyone else and all the bots are going to head over this direction. We're going to start heading up this section to start preparing for the next part. Smokey's going to grab an Insanity Lance along the way, and I think we should be good to start on the next part. And the Tuddler is going to very, 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 very slowly try and catch up, but not really be able to. Here comes the next wave. It's going to be led by Lancer way, way, way out in front, followed up by oh, a whole bunch of slowies. Okay, I think... I think Smokey goes off and does their own thing for a minute. I want them to go over here in an insanity, this, uh, a crap -a -thon, whatever the hell it's called. Uh, that thing's going to become a danger otherwise. These guys are going to take so long to get here, we should be able to get out of here and back. Guys? Don't let that thing get any shots off if you could help it. Cowgirl, come forward a bit. Let's tighten up the line. Perfect. Now, Smokey here can keep running. Uh, we might need to use a few jumps here. Yeah. Come on, buddy. I'm going to jump them the whole way up here as quickly as possible and get them back before this attack wave hits. I mean, it's centipedes. They're really slow. By making ourselves invisible, we can get in nice and close and poof. Yeah, there you go. Have an insane apocat cron thingy. Uh, mechanoids from the Zoltan Hive are beginning their attack. These ones? Yeah, I, I can imagine they are. Well, you know what? It makes no difference to us. And skip time. Might as well. We've got the neural heat for it. We're going to make it back in no time. And we've even got a few jumps. In fact, you know what? Let's do a quick long jump as well. Uh, Smokey being a vampire and a caster, this is just a, a terrifying combo. Once you notice, their movement speed is 6.08. I gave them focus, so it allows their move speed to be uh, kind of crazy. Psychic focus hmm. improves sight, hearing, and moving. I wonder what happens if I applied that to... Um... Oh, to Lunk. Would Lunk be super duper fast? Ah. Yep, it's defeated and it's stunned all its buddies. That's good for us. That buys us a little bit of time. Just a little bit. All right, here they come. Well, here we go. Uh, let's see. You are well in the open right there. I'm thinking right there should be fine for you. Perfect. Oh, there's another one ready to start shooting. I think you need to end up... Oof. There should be fine. Okay, you're only touching one Scyther, but that's okay. Uh, Papercell, maybe join in. And that Scyther should maybe join in. And uh, we've also got another one that looks like it's looking for a beatdown. You can go right there. It's amazing how quickly you can kill these when you have a whole bunch of dedicated melee people. 
Uh, these things are shooting from afar, but that's grand. Uh, if we could kill one of those real quick, that would be nice. Oh, damn it, we don't have time, do we? Fine, you can get skipped in there. Whew. Okay, another one bites the dust. You can get skipped in there. And that's two dead. Oh, we got one coming around the corner. Oh, that one's about to start shooting. I don't like that one. My God. This is sort of dumb. Oh, Papper Seal's down. How? Oh, ribcage right arm. Okay, so you got a bunch of hits. To, you got hit a bunch of times, but did you at least kill a few? Uh, you've killed five mechanoids. You know what? Then you did your job before you went down. And you're not going to be bleeding out anytime soon. All right, you are skipping that one. Perfect. Oof. Now we've got a bit of a problem. We've got this one over here. You need to be skipped. But I don't just can't deal with you right now, so bye bye. And done and done. And you know what? You can get skipped in there. Oh. Well then. Ah! What the hell? Um... Okay. You need to be skipped right there. Um... Paper seal's on fire right now. Are you happy? God. Um... Right, I need scythers to start running these guys down. The ones with the blades. Uh, the ones with the fire. The fire ones definitely need to be, like, just... Not shooting at us. So you need to go over there. You need to go... <laughs> Messy. Ah. Deploy shield. There we go. Okay. That at least gives us a chance. Uh, prioritize extinguishing the fire on Stalker. Stalker. Okay, Stalker's going into the water. They might have a hope. How were they able to shoot through the shield? That seems incredibly broken. Uh, you. You're standing in water. That might actually keep you alive just a little bit longer. So there is a war queen about to thunder in with three little mech bots? Okay. You. Uh, prioritize tent extinguishing fire on them. Yeah, like, see that there? They're able to shoot through the shield. What is with those things? That is incredibly annoying to deal with. Like, you can't really deal with those things if they can eat through your shielding. Uh, you, um, how's that centipede doing? Still not dead, eh? Well, what? You need to end up right there, if you wouldn't mind. That takes care of one. Lindsay, get back inside. Stalker, get back inside. Oh, man. Okay, Smokey, do you have another skip available? Not just yet. That is fine. Um, You guys get that. Smokey, no, I want you to stay a little bit away from the fire. Instead, we'll get Cowgirl over there to start putting that fire out. Oh. This has been a horrible mess. Uh, Smokey, you do have an Insanity Lance. No. Damon, where is it? Who's got a Shock Lance? Oh, Insanity Lance. Ryan, Shock Lance. Oof. And there we go. Mech Queen's down. Though it has released five war urchins. Those we can deal with. Uh, Lunk, do us a favor, would you? Go kill some of those. Just uh, go hog wild on them. That leaves only two Tesserons, which I'm scared of. The rest of this stuff we can just chunk down slowly but surely. Right, let's finish this off. I've got Lunk heading over there to take care of the war urchins. I've got everyone else firing over this direction. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, Cowgirl, please tend to... Or just put out that fire. Please put out the fire on Papa Silly. Oh, thank you. Alright, we got three scythers down here taking care of that mess. Uh, you. Actually, let, let Lunk loose. Lunk, kill everything in that area as quickly as you possibly can. Uh, everyone else. Oh, God. Put, put Papa Silly out. Thank you. Uh, fire foam popper. Yeah, well, that would have been nice earlier, wouldn't it? What just happened there? Oh, yeah, the shield pop just went down. 
Okay, Smokey should have a skip just about ready to go. Um, there's only one Tesleron left. That's fine. Uh, you got. You can actually come back. You can come back. Uh, what are you targeting? You're targeting the Tunneler. In fact, the Tunneler can stop right there. Uh, that's perfectly fine by me. Um, actually works perfectly. Lunk is taking care of that problem. Fire foam popper's gone off. Excellent. Now, I need to... Yeah, we need to get rid of this thing over here. This is a problem. So I'm thinking you need to get skipped. I will skip you beside Lunk for now, maybe? Mm, actually, no. Let's skip you right there. And we will have all of you attack it. That should keep it busy. Now, we've got three Scythers incoming and... Oh, God, how is that thing still alive? You know what? Let it keep targeting the Tunneler. So long as it's targeting the Tunneler, I don't care. Lunk is going to take care of that mess over there. Uh, everyone else here, do us a favor. Kill that Scyther. Kill that... Actually, no, we can't. We've got to kill these Scythers. If we don't kill the Scythers, we're in serious trouble. Because they'll get in close and that will just shred our firepower. Okay... You can fight back, I think. Yep. Okay, dead, dead, dead. Melee attack. Uh, oh my god, this is such a mess. A glorious mess. And Lunk has just left a trail of corpses. God damn, I love you, Lunk. All right, uh, you. Time to get you over here. I want you to long jump into this section. You are going to be taking care of centipedes over here. Perfect. We will let you loose. Do what you do best. Uh, make lunk chunks. Now, everyone else is going to shoot like crazy. In fact, let's do a couple of shots here at that thing. If you can kill that off, I would be much appreciative. Seriously, how is that guy still alive? Oh yeah, it's raining now. It might be to do with all of the fires that got started. Ah. Oh. Done and done. No, oh, guys, 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 stop wasting your bullets on shields. That is such a waste of time. Okay, that thing is still alive. Uh, any particular reason why? God damn, it still will not die. I've got three people focus firing that thing. Uh, Pepper Silly, don't worry. We'll get you some tending in a minute. Uh, everyone else? No. Stop. Targeting the shields. Target that thing over there. I need that thing dead. It's been driving nuts that it's still alive. Okay, finally. Then, uh, there's one Scyther left over here. That's fighting the Tunneler. And uh, that Scyther can go down by these two. Yeah, you two can focus that down. Uh, you... Lindsay, how did you get knocked down? Wow, left eye shot out. What hit you? And why are all the Scythers down? Oh, that's a problem. Okay, you three. I want you in here. That you can actually shoot from inside the shields. Uh, Smokey and Stalker, I want you to actually start shooting that. That's the only ranged one left, I think. Every, all the other little ones are dead, yeah? Oh, perfect. And then you can shoot that one. And then you three. Oh, beautiful. Whew. Uh, that guy should be dead shortly, and then it's just the last one left after that. Nope. Guys? Guys? Fine, Smokey. Teleport them far, far away. Perfect. Okay, Smokey, you've got... Oh, wait, you've drained a lot of blood recently, but... It's fine. We're going to use Coagulate on Lindsay. We want to keep them alive. They're bleeding out in four hours. Nice. Lindsay's back up and running. I want you to equip an assault rifle if you wouldn't mind, please. No. Equip assault rifle. You three, get inside the bubble. And done, done, and done. Lunk, where are you going? Beating on Elred. You know what? Go grab a snack, buddy. We'll take care of the last of the stuff out here. Oh my god. And last one done. Well, the timing of all of those raids was 
absolutely perfect, of course. Uh, how many centipede corpses have we got on the map? 13. It's pretty good. Pretty good for the stage so far. Oh, okay, let's clean up the mess, repair all up our bots. I think every scyther is down, are they? Uh, yep, all six scythers are down. That's just, just beautiful. Just beautiful. I think I'm going to cut that out here for today. Uh, this, these episodes keep ending up longer than I mean to. I was supposed to do 30 minutes and then do two episodes, but I think what I'll do is I'll do an episode today and an episode Wednesday. I normally don't do five a week, but eh, let's do another episode on Wednesday and, Wednesday and see how it goes. I mean, I'm being 20 minutes short today, so let's call that laziness. All right, uh, but that's it. we've got Lindsay over here. We've given them a new eye. They got the other one shot out. Katie's is going to be fine. They got shot in the peg leg. I should really get them a bionic leg to make up for that anyway. And little toe destroyed. There's a few little bits and pieces that need to be replaced, but by and large right now, what I'm trying to do is rush more upgrades for Stalker. If we can get them that new armor, that will give them about ooh, 12 extra points to play around with, which means we can get six extra scythers. Imagine that combat that went down there, but we had twice as many scythers as before. That would have given us quite an edge. And okay, imagine that the uh, the uh, Crapathon over here hadn't landed at the same time as we were dealing with all its mates. You know, I, I hear it's programmed that this thing won't land when there's enemies there. So it'll only land when there's no enemies or friendlies, like, you know, its mates who just were already kicking the bejesus out of us. But hey, that all worked out. Thankfully, Smokey's Psy abilities really saved our bacon. Or their bacon saved our bacon, whatever way you want to look at it. That skip just worked out perfectly. Being able to skip things around the place and into range of all the scythers just cut back on them having to run across the field and getting shredded. I think we're going to expand upon that. Like, if we've got 12 scythers and maybe get a couple, another caster. Like, Lunk is already up to level 4, is it? Uh, yeah, level 4 silent. Once they get to level 6, get them skip. Uh, get them a few of those psycho fluid pump things as well on top of that. And I think we'd be pretty nice. In fact, we may have four death risk cask serums around here somewhere already. I'm thinking this is going to be a pretty defensive colony and we'll send Cowgirl out on uh, on all the trading missions. They're already with the Empire and they can get Aerodrone Strike, Aerodrone Salvo and Transport Shuttle to go with it. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're, we're doing well. And we've got the five kids being born and none of them have died yet. I'm going to call that a win. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out here. I'll uh, see you tomorrow. And good luck. Thank you.